All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus. Uh, there's some latest Vikings news and nuggets out there. We're going to be talking about that. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comments. This episode's brought to you by Mini Grown Boom. Minigrown.com. Fantastic gummies, fantastic cocktails made right here in Minnesota. Plethora of wonderful flavors, a lot of flavors, and they're all delicious. Heck yeah, I appreciate Mini Grown for sponsoring this vid. Uh, and again, just a fantastic product. So go get yourself some Mini Grown, whether it's the drinks or the gummies. Do it now. Promo code SKULL. Buy one, get one. That right there is a gimme. So do it. Minigrown.com. Boom. That is a gimme. Yeah, we, we got some news and nuggets. Let's start with our quarterback, Sam Darnold. He was named September's Offensive Player of the Month. He threw for... Uh, 932 yards, 11 touchdowns, three interceptions, 118.9 quarterback rating. Well-deserved Sam Darnold. Congratulations. Damn right it was well-deserved. I mean, get used to it. It's probably going to happen next month or the month after that. And at the end of the year, they call they give out this thing called the MVP. Wow. Uh, so as of now, Sam Darnold, best quarterback in the division, best quarterback in the NFC, potentially the best quarterback in the NFL. Uh, best quarterback in the world. Oh, best that. quarterback in the world. You hear it. No, it's deserved. It was a no-brainer. Well done, Sam Darnold. Another trophy that he can add to his one bar and Lepagus start of the weeks is Nickelodeon ones. The dude's already gotten more trophies in the last month than he probably has in his whole career. Yeah, and if you didn't like Sam Darnold for what he did on the field, if you're still not warming up to him, maybe this quote he just gave uh, when asked about his time with the Jets will warm your heart to Sam Darnold. They ask if, uh, you know, basically did the Jets fail you uh, when you're in, during your time with them as a rookie. He said, Jets didn't fail me. I had a lot of opportunities. So, again, a guy who's standing up, you know, he's putting that blame on himself. And he's kind of been that way as a teammate, too. Just, you know, he's just leading through example and leading by what he says. And Sam Darnold, uh, he is truly having an MVP kind of season right now. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't even hesitate when they asked him. He was just like, no, I had plenty of chance. Like, just the way he said it. Jets mm -hmm. fans were out there retweeting and just saying, man, I love that this dude is fantastic. Uh, so it uh, it's, it's, it's awesome to see. Just a humble, humble guy, even though he's ripping it up now. He could have easily said, yeah, the Jets screwed me. He could have. He, I mean, he probably also gave the answer he should have, but uh, the fact he put it on him, he could have said there's factors there. I wasn't healthy. He didn't say that. He just said, yeah, I had opportunities. I didn't do it. So, And you have an opportunity to get a buy one, get one, minigrown.com. Uh, you can order these anywhere right online. It does, you don't have to live in Minnesota. Get them. Wow. I know a lot of our viewers do not, so that's uh, that's fantastic news. Uh, let's go to some other, uh, some other newsy things here. Let's go into what Andrew Van Ginkle said. Uh, he said, Brian Flores chewed the defense out for not playing up to the standard last week. He said, Flores was hard on us because we didn't play up to his standards, especially in that second half. Uh, so Van Ginkle, if you watch Brian Flores' press conference, he kept saying, he kept giving credit to the Packers, credit to the Packers, credit to the Packers. No, Van Ginkle uh, gives up the truth here. They got their asses chewed. Yeah, they should have. It was horrible. They played bad defense. I, 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 Luke Braun, friend of the show, listened to his podcast, break that down, and he basically – said i mean luke brown he's definitely in the in the nuts and bolts of it he's he's more breaking down everything every and, and he basically said you know if you thought they ran prevent defense i love you but you're an idiot like <laughs> it wasn't prevent defense uh it was just bad defense i mean they definitely changed a little bit on how what they were doing but it's not like brian Flores, the type of guy is just gonna lay down so mm -hmm. he, i'm glad he chewed him out he should have chewed him out yeah 100 it was disgusting uh again any he didn't really, he didn't say false. Yeah, we, we took our foot of the gas. He said, you know, maybe that happened. So, um, again, I think, I think they just got a, a very relaxed seasoned well, vets. They're like, yeah, it's like 28. This, come on, we're kicking their ass. And they're like, oh my God. And when it goes hand in hand, too, with just, um, you know, we, we heard that the players felt like this was a loss after a lot of the players felt like they, they, you know, even when they won, they kind of lost the game. So, probably that defensive side of the football, uh, you know, getting their bus chewed, they probably felt a little sad after that. It was a win, and it was against the Packers. They can't take this from us. You know, another win is uh, TJ Hawkinson's practice window is wide open. Uh, TJ, the return is on the horizon, and it's a very, very uh, – the, the, the distance to the horizon is very short. Yeah, he's it's happening. He's going to be out here real soon. If he doesn't play against the Lions, I'll be shocked, and I can't yeah. wait. He's going to lower yeah, his shoulder, Kirby Joseph. Boom, that's what you get. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it sounds like he's, you know, looking, he's been looking good on the sidelines, I think, since even training camp. The dude's moving well. He's ready to roll. And you know, he's just itching to get on the field and help out his, his teammates. He's been there. He's been part of the whole organization every single day uh, and get on the field. This is what we want. And I love hearing that it's so close to happening. 
Him and, uh, again, him and Van Ginkle. This Sunday. Him and Van Ginkle need a pitcher next to each other. They look like Vikings. They are Vikings. They're fan favorites. Like that needs to happen. Could you set that up? I'll see what I can. I'll I'll talk to my sources. Thank um, you. I know a couple of photographers. Appreciate that. Uh, the last one is Bill Belichick was on the um, he was on the Pat McAfee show, and he was asked about um, is this still JJ McCarthy's team? Uh, and basically, he said, uh, "Yeah, it is. Unless the you know Sam Darnold leads the Vikings to a Super Bowl win, then potentially things change." He, he mentioned like Kurt Warner's time of what they did with Tom Brady. Like you know, maybe your plans change if this happens. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on what Belichick said. Uh, if Sam Darnold leads this team to a Super Bowl victory, uh, is it the Sam Darnold era? If he leads us to a Super Bowl victory, it won't matter. I'll be, I'll probably be dead after the Super Bowl celebration. I <laughs> like I won't know what'll happen. I'll be needing a lot of these during that game it's, for sure. It's, uh, you know, it's it's a great great problem to have. We've said it multiple times. If Sam Darnold wins a Super Bowl as the Vikings starting quarterback. He's, you bring him back. I mean, it, it all depends on like what, what Sam, Sam Darnold's still young. So he's going to want that big contract. Obviously there's a lot of things that go into that. How long of a contract did Sam Darnold do enough where he's going to warrant a bunch of money from a bunch of other teams? Probably if he just won the Super Bowl, he can't move away from it. JJ McCarthy is the future. Remember, he's not a 25 year old rookie. He's 21. He's got a lot of time. And yeah, we want those years on his rookie contract, but yeah, you have to bring him back. Don't you? I'm actually taking the opposite on this. I think it's mission accomplished. You did it. You won the Super Bowl. Sam Darnold, you got your quarterback already here to move on. What better time to move on and make the change after winning the championship? Uh, you did it. You won. Sam can go get his money. You get your rookie quarterback on a new deal, and, and you still have a lot of young talent on this team. To me, I think the question comes, if you get so close, what if you get to the Super Bowl and lose? NFC Championship game, you lose. That's where I think it's maybe a little bit more where you want to run it back and try again. Uh, but if you win it, you win it. You did it. Let's, let's just start with the new quarterback now. <laughs> first off there's no wrong answer yeah. because the vikings won the super bowl and everybody's <laughs> gonna have their own take like whatever and, and and obviously if darnold like it all comes down to the price it all comes down to how long of a contract jj mccarthy's the future regardless i'm not saying sam darnold oh, yeah let's trade jj mccarthy you don't do any of that crap mccarthy's your future sam darnold whatever if he wins the super bowl I don't give a crap who's playing quarterback. You can play quarterback next year. I'm 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 checking out for the next ten years. And so, yeah, do you care about the twenty five season? I like I mean you want it. Like I mean we're gonna be on a just riding that that wave of high the whole entire twenty five season. I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. It's a wonderful problem to have. We'll see what happens. <laughs> JJ McCarthy will thrive in this offense as well. But yeah. uh, it, it's 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 uh, it's an issue I'd love the Vikings to have to worry about. Uh, so that is it. We're putting a bow on our news and nuggets again. Promo code Skull. Get yourself some mini grown gummies. Drink whatever you want. Whatever. You yeah. Prefer. Get that. Uh, get, get a plethora. Use that Skull promo code. Buy one get one and check out their drinks. And also they got the store locator on the website. If you are local in Minnesota, you can find out where to just go to the store and grab. Boom. And also remember this: in 2007, a married couple divorced after realizing they were cheating on each other in an online chat room with each other. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> 